Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. With the help of Brooke today, I would like to talk about choosing your handlebars. When you come into a dealership, you fall in love with all the kinds of motorcycles. And you usually sit on the motorcycle and you go, wow, this feels great. But you got four motorcycles on this side, four motorcycles on this side, and there really isn't a lot of room for maneuvering. And I want you to consider that maneuvering is important in choosing your motorcycle or choosing handlebars. Because yes, it feels good going down the street straight away, but eventually you're going to have to turn the motorcycle to get around something in the garage, get out of a parking lot, or possibly turn around when you've missed the street that you wanted to turn on. So I've got Brooke here and I've got four Sportsters, all the same type of motor sportsters but we have slightly different seats and definitely different handlebars and i want to talk about it right now brooke has the motorcycle straight just like if she's in the showroom going yeah this feels pretty comfortable i've got my elbows all nice and comfortable my wrists are comfortable my back i'm leaned a little forward but i'm a little aggressive here so i'm doing okay so now we're going to take the turn and turn the handlebars towards me oh my goodness all of a sudden, her hand wants to try to come off the throttle. That means it's kind of cocked. I've got a straight elbow here. I'm kind of in an uncomfortable position turning, and I'm going to be turning this motorcycle most of my life. Also, my back all of a sudden came forward. So now I know that Brooke has to lean forward a little bit so I can bend my elbow to have more control and have my wrist a little bit more tighter on the throttle. This doesn't look really comfortable for Brooke but at least it's one type of handlebars and a style of riding a motorcycle that she would have to keep in her mind. All right, I love this Sportster, I love the way it feels, but I'm gonna have to be bent over a little bit more when I'm riding all the time. So let's try the next motorcycle. Here we have a 1200, slightly different seat, different handlebars. Brooke's gonna come on and put it straight. Ah, she's comfortable. Elbows are nice and bent, wrists are straight. Back's just a little bit leaning forward, but everything seems to be very comfortable. Now we're gonna do the test of turning. I'm stretching here. Okay, this is starting to... Now the wrist is a little bit better position, not as bad, but I've got a pretty straight arm here. So, okay, now Brooke has had to lean forward a little bit to get comfortable to maneuver this in a turn. This may not be the right one for Brooke. The bike looked great and it's still a sportster, love it, but the handlebars, Maybe not. Let's try a different one. Now this one's definitely wild and different. Nice and comfortable. We'll get this motorcycle up. Straight. Wow. Brooks looking good on this one, huh? Back straight up and down. We got a nice position. We got the elbows bent. We got the wrists in a nice position. Good grip. Everything looks comfortable. She's in the wind feeling good. But we gotta come up to that first intersection where we gotta turn. Let's turn the handlebars. Wow, this did change. Not maybe as radical as the first one, but look, this straightened up. This started turning here. She had to lean a little bit forward. Maybe these handlebars aren't the best. It's great going straight, but now I've got more handlebar to turn the motorcycle and it's gonna be a little bit work on it. She may like this motorcycle and live with the turning radius of it, but maybe not. Let's try one more. Now here's a Sportster that in the days they put a small little riser. Almost the same handlebars at number two, but we've got a well, one and a half, two inch riser pullback. Wow, look at Brooke here. We've got nice bent elbow straight here, good grip here. Back is pretty comfortable here. Hey, this is looking pretty good, but let's do the test. Let's turn. It didn't straighten out as much. She's still got it bent. She's got a good firm grip on her throttle. Her back isn't really changed much where she's going. Might be an idea for a current motorcycle or purchasing a motorcycle, a handlebar with a slight pullback of risers. That gets it closer to me, gives me more comfort in my arms, gives me a little bit more leverage. We might have a winner here. Thanks, Brooke. I just want you to consider when you're buying a motorcycle or maybe you have a current motorcycle that you just don't feel comfortable in the turns and turning and getting it in and out of the garage, there's options for you. 
Go to your Harley Davidson dealership, find your kind of motorcycle, sit on it, and then try four different motorcycles to find the handlebars, and you can go then to your parts department and go, hey, I really like these handlebars that I have on mine, but maybe I want to add a little one and a half, two inch pullback to get them a little bit closer to me, have my elbows a little bit bent, a little more comfort. Just a little tech tip from Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.